We're out here today um, in front of the U.S. Supreme Court, and today we have some very alarming breaking news that we need you to really pay attention to. Um, our dear friend, Professor Nadira Shalhoub Kibarkian, she is an academic in uh, occupied Palestine. She's an Israeli Arab citizen, a tenured professor in the Faculty of Law at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. She has been arrested in the last uh, several hours ago. Uh, which has been part of a long uh, line of intimidation tactics and harassment by the Israeli state because of her views on uh, the genocide that's happening in Gaza. She's been fighting against it. And so they have arrested her. They raided her home several, uh, several hours ago. Um, they took her laptop, her smartphone, many of her academic papers, and they have put her in detention. Um, it is unknown right now what's going on. We know that she's been interrogated recently. And according to her lawyer, this is an illegal arrest. The, her lawyer believes that the police was influenced by Minister Ben Gvir, who has been weaponizing the Israeli police in order to crack down on any academic who, or any individual really, who's in support of the Palestinian cause and uh, calling out against the genocide in Gaza. Mind you, I'll remind you again, Professor Shalhoub Kevorkian is a Palestinian who is a citizen of the Israeli state. So she's a citizen of Israel, which they always claim to respect those people and give them equal rights. But in reality, they're cracking down on them if they mention Palestine in any positive manner. And it's very, very dangerous. And it's a dangerous precedent. We ask you to pay attention to her case, but what we really want to bring attention to as well is so often when we're walking the halls of Congress, we hear that Israel is our democratic ally. This is not democratic values that we are supposedly standing behind. And all. we see these parallels happening here in the United States. Taz and I are both graduate students and we have watched, and as we are watching right now with the arrests at Columbia, the suppression of free speech on college campuses. While this case is one that is to an extreme degree, what is so apparent is that those who are speaking for Palestinians for human rights for all of us and for humanity, if we are speaking out against genocide, if we are critiquing Israel and the U.S. complicity and its genocide against the Palestinian people, then we are being suppressed and targeted. Mm -hmm. And this is a message that we need to continue to fight back as well. So, Students, do not hold back. Continue with your protests and speak up for those who are being prosecuted. And I ask you from the bottom of my heart, please, if you can share this video or share uh, about and uh, Professor Nadira Shalhoub Kevorkian, she's a dear friend of mine, a dear friend of ours, and the Israeli state is very actively trying to suppress any of this coming out. Please share, 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 because she is currently in danger. Thank you.